vegan. Um, so I went to the beauty supply store um, that I shop at a lot and I bought a wig. Um, this is the first time I ever bought a full wig, um, but I am going to turn it into a custom topper. The wig that I bought was from Isis. It's the Brown Sugar Collection, Seamless Lace. The name of the wig is Valencia. It is style BS501, and I got it in the color number two. So, here is the wig on my head. Okay, it's very pretty. It is a human hair synthetic blend. You cannot use heat on this wig, but she's gonna hold her curl, and it was cheaper than, say, a human hair, complete human hair. So um, I can definitely tell the difference there are some synthetic fibers in here. It is a little bit thicker than all of my human hair products. Um, it came with lace. There was a, just like our Uniwix toppers. And I cut the lace back to the hairline. Um, I tweeze my parts and my hairlines on my products my toppers, bang pieces, whatever it is I buy, I always tweeze them. Um, I cannot tweeze this. Um, I attempted, I attempted to tweeze her scalp a little bit and the hairline to kind of thin it because it is so thick. There was, I was, I was gonna put a hole in the lace. Um, so I had to stop, I had to stop tweezing. So, I'm gonna put this wig on for you. Um, this is gonna be an adventure for both of us. So, you put your front in first, and then you put it around your back. Now I have my hair and a little ponytail on the back, and there's a comb in the back of the wig, okay? So, I put the wig over the front of my hair, and put the comb underneath my ponytail and I don't have it tight on my head I don't have it would be a lot tighter than this and like fit better but I do not have the clips um, there's an elastic band around the back and I do not have now I want to pull my bangs out to make that hairline look a little bit more natural. And I have them all slicked back. Now ladies, I'm here to tell you, this sucker is hot. Okay, that is why I have decided I need my rat tail comb. decided to turn this into a custom topper. Oh, that's so much better. That part was killing me because it is just simply scorching, okay? I do not like it. It is probably because I am used to wearing human hair and not wearing a full wig. So, if I played with it a little bit and I brushed it, I don't have it clipped to anything, so I gotta kinda hold it when I'm putting it on. It's not, especially if I pull that hairline back and then I would camouflage that a little bit. 
it is not too bad of a hairstyle but let me tell you it is hot I mean it is hot so it's a very cute wig but it's gonna have to go bye-bye okay so I'm gonna customize this wig and I'll tell you more about the wig in a minute um, I'm gonna customize this wig into a topper for me um, and I am going to attempt to show you how to do that uh, I'm gonna have to figure out where I can set my camera um, see it's very cute it's very cute hairstyle it's just much much too much too too much hair it's too hot so and I would have to make it really tight because there's a lot of cap room um, it's very stretchy for a big hair underneath or big head underneath I have a small head so this is not this is not good for me it's very cute though so um, oh, that's rough. Rough. It's rough under there. All right. So a little about a wig. Maybe some of you have not seen a lot of wigs. I've never actually worn a wig, but I know a little bit about them. This is a front lace wig. And where the part is, they call this parting space, okay? This lace piece right here. And that's where you can make your parts anywhere in that three by five section. And you will be able to see your scalp through it. So it looks a lot more natural. You're gonna see your, your skin tone through. You see my hand? You're gonna see your skin tone through that three by five parting space is what they call that. There are two combs in the front of the cap um, for like when you have your hair braided. Um, you would put this on and then clip those combs underneath your braids and it would keep your wig secure. And there is a third comb in the back of the cap by the tag. Isis um, and that would go up and underneath of your ponytail or your braids whatever um, now what and then they have these little stretchy these are, uh, are elastic bands that are adjustable so you can pull this tight around your head it's adjustable to everybody's head um, I, that's why it looked kind of funny, kind of big, because I didn't have it secured in any way. I didn't have it clipped. Um, obviously these little combs slide right through my hair, so it doesn't do any good. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this thing apart and I'm going to turn it inside out on my wig my styrofoam head now I have decided where I want to cut this wig um, it is right by the ear tab there is do you see that there's a very nice solid seam stitch right there at the edge of that lace and I can cut right below that that seam and it's not going to loosen the construction of the wig because that seam is very secure and what's underneath there is a wig cap you'd probably be able to see it better if I turn it inside out that has wefts sewn into it let me turn this little bad boy and get it on my head. Here. She's not cooperating. 
it's late. She doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, now this is my wig, inside out. Okay, on my styrofoam head. I should have done this in the first place. All right, so right here is the ear tab, okay? That is a very solid seam, and there's a little bit of cap, and in between here, these are tracks, okay? Hair tracks, and all they are attached to is by this little band right here. So I can, I can cut across this mesh and not cut any hair. I'm not going to cut any hair off this wig. I'm going to cut these bands here, 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 all the way around till I get to the seam on this side. And I'm cutting below this seam because that is a very solid seam, stitched well, strong, and I don't want to ruin the construction. If I cut through that seam, it's going to be loose. It's going to, I'm going to have to stitch that. So, while my cap, while my hair is inside out, I lied. I'm going to get, I'm going to separate so I can see between the tracks because I do not want to cut any of the hair. Now, I've separated it. See? So I can cut right here at this seam where the ear is. I can cut right there. See that? I'm not cutting through any hair. I'm only cutting through mesh. Okay? And then when I go on around, I am just cutting rubber bands. There's no hair. All the way around, it's just the rubber bands, the rubber in between, okay? So I am gonna go ahead and do that. And I will be right back. And I'm back, okay, I have not cut it yet. What I did was put the wig on, on the head the right way. I separated all of the hair that I want to keep and I rubber banded in the front, okay? Now, right here is the ear tab that I showed you and that very nice seam that I want to keep. Ooh, crazy hair sticking out. I'm going to cut right here, right underneath that very, very thick seam, okay? And here we go. Let me get my scissors. I thought I had my scissors out. Okay. This would be so much easier if I had a better way to hold my camera. But I don't. So, I've shown you where I'm going to cut. It's right below that seam, right there. And I'm just going to set it down and do that. Because I do not want to mess up this wig. So, no time like the present. Ladies, it's scary. But you just jump in. You just jump in. Okay, so there's my first cut. Okay, now I continue around the wig. My cut. Okay, this is the front part. This is what I'm keeping. And I'm just cutting through those elastic bands where there is no, actually no hair there, okay? The track, the track is right here, and all these seams are still attached. They're all the seam, I'm not cutting through any stitches, so there's not going to be any, any loose, loose edges, there's not going to be any loose seams, but even if there was, 
You just take a needle and thread and throw, sew them up. Okay? Cut. Now I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna finish doing this while it's laying down here because I wanna make sure I get it right. And, okay, she's off. She is off. All right, here's my topper, complete with styrofoam balls, All right? Okay, and here is the part of the wig that I took off. It is the back of the cap. Okay. Now, these tracks are very, very nice. These are very nice. This is a very nice piece. And I guarantee you that I can make something lovely out of all these beautiful black curls. Look, if you flip it over, I might have a whole nother bun. You see that little bun? Just need a needle and thread, that's all. I got it. All right, so here's what's left. Here's what's left. Now I'm gonna take ponytail out, and shake her out, shake her out, flip it, and find, here's the lace. Now see, there's no, there's no more wig cap. Just a little, right here. And you can always take off more, which I may find, but you can't as easily put it back on. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna brush it out. You can't hurt this thing. This is the brush I got from Uniwigs. It's very nice. Very nice wood brush. It's very soft, bristles. Okay. Now, I don't know what this is gonna look like. I don't have any wig clips. But, oh, so much better. That is so much better. <coughs> the weight, the weight of it alone, of all that hair, oh my gosh. And see how, see how hot it is, I'm sweating. It's so hot in here already. Now, my hair is in a ponytail. My natural hair is in a ponytail. And I don't have any concealer on my scalp. I don't have any spray. But that is so much better. So much better already. So, let me take put my topper over here. I should have done this first. This video's gonna suck. Brush my hair out. Because see, when you wear your Uniwig toppers, you like to make a part and match that part, right? Before you clip it down. So, when I put this topper on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these combs out of here and I'm gonna put wig clips. I'm gonna put the pressure clips. I'm gonna sew them here and maybe up here on this on this nice seam by the lace. It's a very heavy duty seam and I don't think it will break. Now, the way I will wear this on a on a day when I wear it. This would probably be reserved for fancy nights out. Here's those combs, okay? Now, just imagine if I lined that up and put my pressure clips in. Now, here's my hair underneath, okay? So, what I will do on a day that I'm gonna wear this and I have the clips in it, I will take my little my little brush with my color, and I will fix that hairline, and this is gonna be pulled tight to my head, remember? Okay. Let me do a, let me give her a little brush so she doesn't look so rough in the back. 
I will curl my hair, my natural hair, underneath and then clip this little puppy on so it's going to be pulled tight like that. It's going to look so much better. And I'll give you a look. I hope you can see this. My hair underneath. Okay. That is how you cut a wig into a custom topper. That is how the process works. It's pretty easy. If you find a wig that you like, and um, you're having a hard time finding a topper that matches your hair color, you could probably find a wig. I'm sorry, I'm so hot. You'll probably find a wig that matches your hair color. And um, if you have a little bit of bang, or even if you don't, there, there's instructional videos on how to, look, look, I don't have any concealer. I don't have any. Once that's clipped down, and I put a little bit of black powder right there, look at that. And it's clipped tight to my head. It's very cute. It's very cute. So, I may decide yet to take off a couple more layers. Um, that just means I have to cut another weft that's all like the in between the the tracks um, I'm gonna take these stitches out where the combs are and I'm gonna sew wig clips here by the ears and I'm gonna sew them up here on the edge of the lace it's right here and right here and right here and right here and probably one in the back and that ladies is a custom topper made out of a wig so if you like my videos and you want to see more, I have oh so much more. Um, subscribe and I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.